thanks. Can clean energy activists make history? Voting is underway right now in the elections for the SRP board and council. And with polls closing in just under an hour, Joe Dana tells us what's at stake. Joe? So we've been getting reports today from an election observer. Turnout is very high this afternoon. This is the final day of voting after SRP customers have had about a month to cast ballots in person and by mail. The office holders set policies for Arizona's second largest utility. Here's what at stake. Seven of the 14 seats on the SRP board are up for grabs and 15 of the 30 seats on the council are open. A so-called clean energy team is running on an attempt to oust many longtime elected leaders at SRP. Those challengers are pushing for more aggressive home solar policies. One longtime SRP advocate, Steve Neal, who also educates the public about renewable energy, says that there's an appetite to speed up SRP's renewable energy portfolio. And monopoly utilities have been slowing the progress of technology since uh, they started. There is a set of consumers out there who are very interested in spending their money to be part of the future. SRP is hoping to announce results of early ballots around 8 tonight. They should have a final vote count by the end of the night. The new office holders would be sworn in next month.